Welcome back, folks, to another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. And today I have for you an amplifier that is, well, really not a budget amplifier. Uh, today I have the Power Us, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, PW8000 1 ohm edition amplifier from Brazil. Um, I haven't done a lot of Brazilian style amplifiers before. Um, I think I did a VE Audio one um, prior. That was primarily it, I think. Um, I have tested a few off camera. I don't really love full bridge technology. Um, it is the wave of the future. I mean, I just don't think, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't, I just don't love them. So with that in mind, um, Power Us, who is not who you'd normally think of when you think of Brazilian amplifiers. Um, let's face it, you're gonna think of uh, tar amps first, uh, sound digital probably two, banda number three, and then if you really wanna get shitty, um, then you start thinking about like Stetson because those amps blow, uh, at least the ones I've tried. Um, so, um, I wasn't really looking to do one of these. They contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try out uh, their PW8000. And I said yes, you know, it, it's always worth to give one a shot. Um, so I got one here, we're gonna unbox it. Um, we're gonna take a little stroll around the amplifier and then we're gonna hook it up to the old trusty amp dyno and we're gonna find out just how much power this 8,000 watt rated amplifier actually puts out. Um, so let's just dig in, let's just jump right in the box and let's see what we get. I've already pre-opened it, all right, so it's not gonna come open for all you uh, internet nerds out there that are like, yeah, the box has been open, shut your mouth, doesn't matter. Uh, first thing you get, you get the instruction manual, uh, which looks to be written in Portuguese. Uh, there is a, there is an English translation over here. There's not a lot of info. I mean, this looks like it was printed on a laser printer, folded in half, thrown in the box. But the specs are what I am interested in. So again, I have got the uh, the one ohm writing one here, and at 14.4 volts, this says it's supposed to do 9,750 watts at one ohm on 14.4. Um, that, that's a pretty hefty number for an 8,000 watt amplifier. Um, two ohms, 7,310. And at four ohms, 4,080 watts. That also gives you the 12.6 rating, which at 12.6, uh, it's 8,400 watts at one ohm, 5,640 watts at two ohms, and 3,560 watts at Four ohms. Um, that looks like it was done at 40 hertz, which is perfect because that's what we're going to test the amp at. Uh, no cheating and making it all one kilohertz. And this does have a response rate of 5 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So definitely a full range amplifier for you at home. Enough talking about that. Let's see what it looks like in the box. And this is. Oh, this is it. <clears throat> kind of heavy for a Brazilian. That's what she said. All right. So, there she is. Pretty nice. Fairly hefty, which you would expect for an 8,000 watt amplifier. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a walk around the amplifier here and see what kind of features we get here. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our power and ground input terminal, as well as our remote turn on terminal. Um, and that's pretty much it, um, other than these pair of fans over here along the left and right hand side. Um, you know, I mean, these are at least a true uh, oversized one aught gauge uh, terminal versus some of the other Brazilian amps I've seen where it's kind of an undersized one aught and therefore you can't really run a, a, a good reducer into there or um, 
you know, a dual uh, one aught to single one aught connector because it's too small. And then you have to buy a specialized one for like something like a, like a tar amps. Um, not the case with this one here. Um, so that's at least good. We're off to a good start. Along this side of the amplifier, we find ourselves with all the settings as well as the speaker output terminals. Um, we got a pair of, looks like eight gauge speaker output terminals right here. Um, I would love to see uh, another set of eight gauge terminals or a four aught um, gauge terminal. Now you can get eight gauge, you can get this amount of power through them, um, but if you're gonna run multiple subwoofers, it would just be easier uh, to have a little bit more space in there. Um, of course you have the dreaded bass boost, which you can also adjust the frequency at. Just be like me, knobs left on this part here. Um, you have a high pass filter, which is really your subsonic filter. Um, it's adjustable from 5 hertz to 200 hertz. Um, you have a low pass filter, which good luck dialing this bad boy down. Um, I would say leave this one knob left as well, because that would do 80 hertz and below. Um, but it just goes to max. So if you can fine tune this uh, from 80 to 20 kilohertz, or 80 hertz to 20 kilohertz, uh, God bless your soul. Because uh, I don't think I could do that. Um, right here, we have our limiter function. Uh, what this is, is it, this helps prevent the amp from going into clipping. Um, I think it's more of a gain attenuator. Uh, because, I mean, you could... Uh, I had it on, you know, I was trying this out a little bit here earlier. Um, I was, didn't get any signal at first and I was cranking the gain and I wasn't getting much and I was like, what is going on? And the limiter was set all the way to max. So I don't think so much as this is, um, like a true limiter that's going to prevent any type of clipping. Um, it, correct me if I'm wrong, power us guys, but it just seems like it's a, a gain attenuator. Um, and of course you have your gain adjustable from 6 volts down to 0.25 volts. Another good feature because a lot of times you'll find um, some of the full bridge design amps come from Brazil. Uh, their max, you know, they don't like anything um, up around 4 volts. You know, they're like usually 2, 3 volt max inputs uh, on some of the amps that I've seen. Um, so it's nice this one goes out to 6 volts because there's really not a lot of decks anymore that are like your eight volt ones anymore. They're usually like, you know, four volts is lucky to find right now. And if you can find six, great. Um, over here is of course your lone pair of RCA ends. And that's pretty much it. All right, before I take this top off here, reminder, uh, please keep all your pants on and underwear on and no inappropriate touching while I am talking. That is just gross and ridiculous. So with that being said, here comes the money shot. Booyah! Oh. <laughs> you know, some Brazilian amps, you go, where's the beef on this thing? Uh, I don't think you need to do that on this one here. Um, granted, I mean, this isn't a very, you know, big amplifier in terms of length or anything like that. But good God, these are some sexy guts in this beast. Um, the main caps over here are 2200 microfarad and two hundred volts yowzers um <laughs> just absolutely bonkers that they have this thing going around here i mean it's really nicely laid out um it's definitely not an off-the-shelf design from the way it looks like to me um it looks like a unique board straight to power us i mean this is this is damn nice um Fans look good. Everything on this inside of this amp looks purpose driven and doesn't look chintzy like you sometimes see in other Brazilian style amps. Um, so I'm excited now. I can't wait to power this thing up. So enough, enough showing you the guts, enough showing you the sides. 
Okay, nothing left to do here but to strap up the Power Us, I think, name. PW8000, 8000 watt Class D amplifier from Brazil onto the old trusty amp dyno. And let's just see exactly how much power this amp actually produces. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on us. We'll find out. Okay, final thoughts here on the Power Us PW8000. Um, you know, there's really only one thing that comes to mind um, after watching the uh, and doing the amp dyno, and that is holy shit. I mean, seriously, uh, we've got a new record holder in terms of the most wattage I've had on my amp dyno. Um, Previously, we had the Wolfram W7500, which is soon to be renamed the AW9000. Same amp, different heat sink. Um, that was the record holder at one ohm. And now we have a new record holder at one ohm. I mean, we got just under 10,000 watts certified at 12.7 volts under 13 volts almost 10,000 watts certified at 40 hertz that's the note that you want here for you bass people you want 40 you want below holy cow um, this has also got you know the record at uncertified at 10,000 watts at right around 13 volts freaking crazy and dynamically <laughs> I mean Come on, over 13,000 watts. You, you're shitting me. Uh, 
This amp's hilarious. I love it. Um, you know, it doesn't seem to have, for me, the problems that I've had with other Brazilian amplifiers. I mean, number one, I mean, granted, I would have loved to have seen the dual power inputs. I already mentioned that, but they're beefy enough here. They're not like little tiny one out gauge ones. I mean, they're beefy enough. I can get it. I could get it in there. No problem. Um, it's got, I, I would say the speaker output terminals are a little lame. I mean, they're a little tiny, but the clip indicator is great. The limiter function is pretty cool technology, um, which keeps the amp from really harming itself, um, depending on how you do. I think it's just a gain attenuation, but um, it's still kind of cool that you could kind of limit the amp from running at its max if you want to. Um, it's got all the settings that you want to see in one of these amps. It looks good. It's beefy. It's built well. The heat sink looks efficient. It's just funny, like, as I'm watching this thing, I mean, you'll, if you guys get one, I mean, and for 950 bucks for this kind of power, I think it's kind of a bargain. Um, I mean, I, it's weird. It felt like the amp was, like, alive on the dyno. I mean, it's crazy to say that, but, I mean, you had the fan going, and then every time, like, a dynamic hit, hit on this thing, it was like, boom, 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 coming from here. You know, like, it was making its own kind of noises, like, like, yeah, I can handle this shit. Let's do this. So, I'm an, I am impressed with this amplifier, and I didn't know what to expect because I really hadn't heard much about these guys. I thought they were like PRV who just buys Brazilian boards from other Brazilian companies and then they ship them from Brazil. Um, I didn't know if this could stand with a Banda or a Tar Amps or a Sound Digital. And I think the answer is yes. I mean, this amp did great, did great across the board. I got no issues with this amp. So, you got 950 bucks to spend. You've got a thousand amps plus on board, able to handle an amp. Don't be afraid to check out the Power Us PW8000. That's it for me, folks. I'll see you next time.